Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing a planning video. This is very much tailored to me. I love planning, organisation, everything like that and because it's the beginning of the year I thought that it would be better to do this kind of video now if you're like interested in this. This is very specific, it probably won't get many views because it is so specific but if you like organisation then you might like this video. If you haven't got on the whole organisational list writing thing and you don't really you know do that kind of thing because you think that oh you don't have time for it or whatever please try at least once to have a week of writing lists and planning things and weekly planning and daily planning because it makes such a difference it means I get so much more done I feel a lot more productive when I tick things off and it just makes you feel a lot more accomplished and there's more of a structure and an outline to the week rather than being like well what can I do today I don't know you know exactly what you're doing and you get things done that maybe you've been meaning to do for a while that you wouldn't necessarily sort of think to do automatically so funnily enough I have actually written a little plan for this video as I always do for my videos just to make sure that I include everything I want to include but I'm going to talk through what I plan in general in a week so I'll spend kind of a couple of hours a week planning the week for everything I thought I'll just tell you every single planner that I've got and every single thing that I plan but I won't show you me planning everything. The first planner that I've got is this one here. This is what I recently bought. It says make your dreams happen 2021. It's a diary but it's a planner so you plan things in it. I'm not the kind of person to write a diary of what's happened in the day. I like to plan things and say what I want to do and then tick it off when it's done. So I have shown this in one of my Vlogmas videos, but obviously you may not have watched that. But at the beginning, there's like a planning section. So this whole planner is actually for my little skincare business, Fresh Faced. I wanted a whole one to itself because there's so much to plan, so much to do. I need to consider sales, profits, orders, everything. Social media posts, I plan all of my social media posts. So the front of the planner is like day-to-day -day planning and I will plan everything that I wanna post on social media here and here so that I know exactly what I'm doing and tick it off when it's posted on Facebook or Instagram. I will link them down in the description if you want to check them out. I also will add on anything that I need to do. For example, if I need to order anything for a product or if I need to add anything to eBay or if I need to make orders, that kind of thing will go in here. So I know exactly what I'm doing every single day. And that continues on every single week. Once I've completed the week and everything's ticked off, I will put my little signature in at the top just to tell myself that I've completed that week. So then we come to the notes section here. I just brainstorm ideas this is where i talk about profits calculations things i need to buy what products i've currently got i'm not going to go through that specifically because i have spoken about that previously but if that's something that you're interested in maybe i'll make that in a future video but on this page i calculated my profits for each product won't show that um, but it actually varies massively from product to product but it kind of considers the amount of time that i spend making the product for example my cleansing balm gives me the most profit because that's what takes me the longest time to make then i've got my goal section of this planner where i actually make a goal of what product i want to bring out next i have got a product coming out this month so please stay tuned then there's a remember section at the back and this is basically where i'll write down everything that i need to do what orders i need to make what posts what well, this is where I write down orders or just things that I wouldn't necessarily think to remember for example I've written on here calculate profits for current products um, post someone's order make someone's order plan January's products etc just things like that and then at the back there is this little compartment here where I'm going to keep receipts from things that I've posted to make sure that if somebody says I haven't posted it I can say well yeah I posted it then so that's why I'm going to keep that so that's my fresh face planner for my skincare brand i will plan weekly on that um, once a week i also have my uni planner which again i won't really go through um but this is just a random book that my, i found in my mom's kitchen or whatever but i use it every week i write down what lectures i've got that week and what seminars i've got that week and then i have a little tick box so i tick if i've attended the lecture they're all online and sometimes you know i am actually a little bit busy and i don't do it for example if i'm out or something which is not likely anymore but 
as an example um but yeah i will tick if i'm there so i know what my attendance is and i can say yes i was there if they say i wasn't um and then i also like to go over the lecture afterwards so then i've got a little box to tick for that so it just means that i know exactly what i've got on a piece of paper and i can tick off and keep track of my own attendance and if i've got any like work to do or anything like that i'll write it in here okay i also have a planner which is kind of for my little skincare business as well my fresh face little planner this is product releases planner so there's actually not that much in here there's only one thing in here because this is this month's product release i won't show you what it is just yet but it's all planned out here on here i basically plan out the ingredients for this said product the packaging that i need the method to make it and all of the costs for each product and basically working out the profit of the product so i'm going to do that every single time i bring out a new product so this won't actually be used that much because it takes a lot of effort to bring out new products and also money i also plan certain things on my laptop as well for example what food i want to get for the week so i'll plan my weekly food shop on my laptop because i'll write it in my notes section so on my phone the notes come up on my phone and i can just go into Lidl with my little ticks um, on my notes section of my phone but i do that i also budget and plan my money each week i will see what have i spent this week and i can just keep track of that just to make sure that i'm not going over my budget or if i have i'll just minus that off the next week so i keep track of my spending each week so i've got a like little planner for that as well then i have now then this is the main section of what this video is which is my weekly planner so i love my weekly planner it's just a blue little book like this it's just a4 paper many pages of weekly planning have been filled out i started weekly planning in october and every single week i've written a weekly plan since i never don't do one because i love weekly planning it's so much fun to me so this is what a typical weekly plan looks like i start off by stating the date at the top so for example this one says sunday the 3rd of december to saturday the 9th of december and then i will write down the housework that i want to get done that week so for example this week i on sunday i always start my weeks on a sunday because it gives me time to plan and prepare for social media posting on monday when it comes to my skincare brand because i actually only post monday to friday probably no one noticed that but i actually do um so sunday clean stanley which i meant clean as cage and i just write down the housework so i've got a category for housework one thing that i want to get done each day then i've got my workouts and i write rl rl stands for rebecca louise which is a youtube workout um she's a youtuber go and check her out well she does fitness videos and then rb stands for resistant band workout that i'll do from somebody else social things i will then write down also i'm just quickly doing the overlay clips and i just thought that i would mention what i mean about social things because obviously we're in a pandemic uh, what i mean by that is for example the only thing i've written on my social things list this week is it's my birthday on friday like stuff like that like just oh it's my birthday it's that person's birthday it's christmas day whatever i'm going for a food shop stuff like that like a food shop to me now is a social thing so i just thought i'd clarify that one i also include pamper things that's things like using a facial scrub or doing a little foot spa or using a liquid peel facial cupping or tanning things that i might forget to do if i hadn't actually written it down as a thing on my to-do list people may think like oh why the heck would you write that down like it's not exactly a to-do thing but yeah it is if i didn't write it down i probably wouldn't do it so i need to write it down i also have a category for youtube so i write down what videos i'm posting that week and that is it and now i'm only posting two videos weekly so this week it was my 2021 goals and then this video which is how i weekly plan and then i have a little reminder section or i just remind myself of anything i need to do in that week like for example if i think oh i need to send this person a birthday card i'll quickly write that in the reminder section to make sure that i get that done or oh i've got orders to post i need to write that down just to make sure that i don't forget those things i'm only kind of like i'm only on wednesday so i've only ticked off like two or three days so that's why my planner is kind of like half ticked off but i've kind of showed you that and showed you that a little bit kind of more thoroughly i was gonna film it where i actually write it out and show you but i enjoy weekly planning so much that i just want to chill and do that in my own time like i don't want to have to film it because 
I won't find it chill and that's a whole week wasted of not enjoying my weekly planning. Um, so hopefully you understand that, but I've shown you what I do. Um, but anyway, so that's my weekly plan. So this is what I have for the week. This is my week in a page, um, discluding fresh face, post, uni, everything like that. This is everything else. I will then each night, so the night before the next day, grab my daily planner which is this one and I will plan what I need to do each day so I'll write the date at the top like I did on my weekly plan and this is a week but each one is a day for example on Monday I looked at my weekly planner I thought oh what do I need to do on Monday and I thought okay so on here it says I need to clean the toilet and sink so I wrote clean toilet and sink down oh on Monday I've got a resistant band workout I'd also written down to film my 2020 goals because that's my filming day. Mondays and Wednesdays are my filming day. So I'd actually written down to do a facial scrub. So a scrub of my face, that was what I had for that day specifically planned. So the whole list just comprises of what I've written in here, narrowed down on that specific night before. I wake up Monday morning, it says clean sink and toilet resistant band workout, scrub my face, film 2020 goals video. And then I also, the previous night, had gone on to my fresh face planner and I see what I need to do. So is there anything I need to do for that day, for example? Do I need to make orders? Do I need to post them? What social media post do I need to put up? Um, I'd written on here, continue designing label for my product that's coming out in January. Um, video myself using my cleansing balm so that I can post it on social media and I had actually said take a picture of my eyeshadow palette because I like to kind of post like personal posts tailored to me as well in my social media so I was going to take a picture of this eyeshadow palette because it's my favorite because it's my favorite one and just to state that I love makeup as well as skincare but I didn't get around to that and I didn't post that so maybe I will at some point like I said I come to it on a Monday morning I see the narrowed down list from the weekly plan I then grab my whiteboard this is making me sound ridiculous i swear i've been talking for ages and i did not realize i did this much planning um, but i enjoy it so you should crack on with it too i have my narrow my more specific to the times plan out on my whiteboard so i will take what's on here and i'll write it onto here but with more added things that are more specific I don't get up at the same time every day. I have uni at varied times during the day, so I have to account for that. Or oh, by the way, on Monday, I didn't have any uni lectures, so I would have written down what times I had uni. But for example, this is today's. So today is Wednesday as I'm filming this. So I wrote down shower and get dressed. That's not something I need to write on my weekly planner because that's obvious, but it's something I write on this because it's got a specific time attached to it. So it means that I get that done. Um, I also put tidy and do my laundry. I also put Hoover, which was on my weekly planner. I've done that, Hoovered up here. Um, I did my workout, that's also on there at specific time intervals, so I know when I'm doing things. I then had a lecture and my lunch at the same time. A little rest, did my makeup, and now I'm filming this video. I put film video at 2.15, here I am filming it. Um, and then after this video, I've got a seminar, and then I've got to tidy up and do uni work after that so basically what this is is it's more specific timings it's planning each thing with a time attached to it so that i know what i've got to do throughout the day and i know that i've got time for everything when it comes to my weekly plan there's a day attached to it and what i want to get done for each day and then i've got my daily plan which is what i want to get everything i want to get done in one day but there's no specific times and some people would leave it there and they'd be like yeah I, I know what I need to get done in that day. I don't need times for it and that's fair enough, but I like to have specific times for things so that I know when I can fit things in, when's best to do them. And it also means I know that I can get everything done. I just like that way of doing things. And then little tick boxes to tick things off. I think it's important to make tick boxes um, to tick things off because then you'll feel a little bit more accomplished when you get things done. So I think for me, this video is just kind of showing you the kind of things that I do to stay organized. I'm the kind of person that, you know, feels happy when I'm being productive and when I'm getting things done. And a whole load of that is just purely through organization and just getting everything done. I actually feel a little bit crazy because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six planners in front of me with different things that I plan. But it means that I keep on top of things. I keep on top of my skincare business, my finances, my uni work kind of um and 
housework, workouts, everything like that. If I did not have all this stuff planned, I would say 80% of these things would not get done and I want them and I want them to be done. So I just wanted to show this. I know some people might not find this interesting and therefore they would not still be watching this video, but I find it interesting. So there we go and it's the start of the year. But let me know if you have any questions or if you wanna see more organizational videos. I'm sorry I didn't show me actually writing these out. It would actually be an extremely long video if I did that. And because I love organization so much, I like to just keep that time as a chill time for me to relax and do my planning and not have to film it. So yeah, um, but yeah, my favorite planner is definitely this little guy. I love this. This is my um, fresh-based business planner. I love this. It's very organized, very tidy, and it's my favorite one. Um, so I would be happy to have six of these instead of all these random books. But yeah, another thing that I plan, which I have to just add in, because I finished filming the video, forgot to add this in, so I'm just adding this in. My YouTube videos, I plan every single YouTube video I wanna film for that month in one go on my calendar on my laptop. Then each week I'll see what videos I had planned to film for that week and I will plan them in this book. I plan exactly what I wanna talk about, what I'm gonna do for the thumbnail, what day I'm gonna film it, what day I'm gonna edit it and what day I'm gonna post it. It just means that the videos go a little bit more smoothly. So yeah, I've got my YouTube planner as well. So it's all going on and also, I also write down video ideas as well at the beginning of the month, just so that I don't run out of ideas. Also, just throwing that in there, I'm just filming this clip after I film the video. So this video is a little bit of a shambles, which is quite funny because it's an organization video. Um, and you can see all my makeup on the bed. I'm gonna tidy that away. My pencil case, who likes my pencil case? Isn't that the cutest little dig? I've had this since I was like, 10 i don't know my dad bought it for me off of ebay and this is the this is the thing i've been most excited for to receive ever in the post and look how cute Hello. he's just as sweet as little thing but yeah he is a pencil case he's got pens in there so i thought i'd just give him an honorable mention because look how cute he is like oh <laughs> I don't think I've got a name for him. I think when I first got him, I called him Flopsy. That's a rabbit's name. So I don't think I'll do that, but I was young. Um, but look at his little tail. So that's everything for this video. I hope it's encouraged you to just consider organization a little bit more and to consider, you know, just writing a basic list. You don't have to be like me where you have a list for every single thing, but it is nice. It is nice if you keep on top of it it doesn't take me that long to do these things once you've got a routine going and you get into the habit of writing lists and being organized it actually saves you a lot more time you might think i don't have time it saves you time in the long run because it means that you're productive 99 percent of the time instead of sitting there thinking what can i do right now oh i'll just scroll on my phone like no we got to be productive so yeah Hopefully it inspires you a little bit. Maybe it will scare you more than inspire. Let me know if you like writing lists too. I just wanted to film this video, so don't come for me. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for the rest of the year and more videos like this to come and obviously random videos. See you in my next video next week, which will be, I'm not sure what next week's videos will be because I've written on my laptop, but we will see you next week. Okay, so yeah, have a good day. Bye!